We are at the entrance of the Astra Museum in uh, uh, Sibiu. It's a museum orientated towards crafts and uh, craftsmen. Uh, so they have households and uh, buildings which pro previously belonged to craftsmen uh, or uh, specific technical installations such as mills, whirlpools or lumber mills, uh, blacksmiths, uh, etc. from uh, the whole of Romania. And the museum is laid out and it's separated into several uh, areas. This would be a, a wood mill to cut uh, uh, wood. The water would come from that way, from uh, the, the left, through the uh, channel, and then channel down through the small, uh, uh, smaller shafts. And this would turn those pellets, which in, time, which in turn uh, make it spin, and inside you would have uh, uh, cutting discs. Sometimes cutting this, sometimes uh, saws that would move from up and down. Yeah. And, well, make planks of wood, mainly. On this alley, starting from here, we have mainly households and construction or workshops having to do with work, the working of wood, like uh, this uh, particular house would have been the, the, the workshop and the living house. It's built uh, on these uh, slopes because it, uh, this would have been construction that would have been built in the mountain. So in the mountain side you have uh, a slope, so you have to have a big foundation to even the, um, where you build your house. Okay. On the first floor they would have lived, so the family of the craftsmen would have lived there. On the basement uh, uh, sometimes there would be a, a cellar or uh, uh, sometimes the workshop. Here right now we are in front of the a priest's homestead, okay, the priest's house. Uh, in the communities, what the communities would have done, would, they would have built uh, uh, houses for the priests. And uh, priests' houses in uh, uh, rural areas used to be larger and uh, uh, with more comfort built in than the normal households. Okay. This is from uh, uh, Alba district, from uh, uh, close to the mountains in uh, uh, southwestern Transylvania but it's still preserved if you look at the uh, joints at the uh, poles it, it's still shaped and made to look like uh, like the rams horns you know so it has some features built into it since it's a priest's house uh, you probably won't get wolf teeth on it uh, because those are pagan symbols you know? So right now we are in front of the uh, trader's house, a merchant, somebody that would go from village to village or from place to place to buy things and then sell them at a higher cost. Uh, they, their fam his family or her family would have lived upstairs and they would have had the shop maybe downstairs. Uh, uh, in Maramures, uh, uh, this trade would have been practiced mainly by Jewish, the Jewish community and you could tell the uh, Jewish houses apart because they were the only ones who had uh, porches and entrances, uh, doors uh, to the side of the road. Okay. Uh, this one is not necessarily a Jewish house, you know, but it's a, uh, something uh, that makes it easy to buy and sell. So it has a space dedicated to people getting into the house easily and making it accessible like these two doors. This would be something like a shop's entrance. So 
we are now inside the uh, uh, woodworking, wood processing mill, so a sawmill basically. Uh, this would have been turned by water, which runs uh, to the back of the building and turns the big wheel, which in turn would uh, make the, the, the saw move up and down okay, to cut the wood. And the, there is the mechanism also to move the wood forward or backwards towards the, the blade. Inside here we also have a plank uh, uh, smoothener uh, to make it plain and a circular uh, uh, saw to cut smaller pieces because obviously this would have been used by, for uh, heavier pieces that are more difficult to cut by circular saw. This adjusts here. They would have put the plank and fixated into place inside here and at the other side too. And then here they would have had some kind of blade or a smoothener to make it uh, sand, sandpaper to make it to, to make it smooth. Yeah. Okay. And this would turn by the power of the water, you know, and with the belt and make smooth.